A lot of people ask me what my design process looks like and I haven't really shared a step-by-step -step process uh, here on YouTube. So in this video, I thought, why not share my start to finish process? Last week was crazy. I built like three big projects and then basically five landing page. It was, it was a crazy week. I thought, what if I share my screen? You can see here a client funnel that I built and I'll take you through the process start to finish after I onboard them, obviously. So this is not how I got the client. I have plenty of those videos as well, but it's more like, what are the steps that I take after I onboard them? So we can see here the goal for this client was to build a home base for the brand. So this is a great client, great person, and they have a community of course creators and experts, and they do a lot of course launches, great results. First of all, that's already a good foundation for this funnel that helps me build a great funnel that converts. But the goal was to build this foundation where we have this premium brand, very modern, minimalistic. If you've seen the masterclass website, sort of similar branding where it's very high end, a lot of testimonials, case studies to build a trust for people who are looking for you on Google. Maybe they're on a sales call or an order form and they wanna check out more about your brand. They're not really sure. And so you haven't built a trust. They can go to this page, to this homepage and look at your results, who you are and all of that good stuff. So that was the goal. Then the style was, like I mentioned, a very clean and modern and uh, almost a little bit corporate, but in a good way, not the, the boring corporate. And then the process is what I'm gonna share with you in this video, which was they gave me copy. My job was to design something that looks amazing with the copy that I was given. Funnel design process is basically seven steps, onboarding, funnel type, choosing the type, and then uh, the layout, asset. So collecting all the app assets, the images, the testimonials, the copy and the logo and everything that I could get from them. And then I come up with the branding and the style, the theme because even if they give you brand colors and a color palette, you still have to figure out, like you can look at this right here and you can see that it has a very specific flow. You can see that it has like three main colors. And so that is branding, then the copy, some of the copy I rewrote, restructured, cut this out, rewrote this long text into a shorter one. I'll show you that in a second as well. And then obviously design going into sketch and uh, building out these images for, you know, thumbnails, for an example, a lot of stuff that I did that most people would just look at and think like, oh, that looks nice, but they don't see the process behind how I did it. I'll show you that as well. And then setting it up in uh, their account. And also I send them two versions. So I'll show you that if we go into my account, you can see here, I have two versions of the same funnel because what I thought at first was, hey, you're this authority. Let's have your face here so they can click it and watch your video. And then we go into the design, the rest of the page. But then I also sent them another example, like, hey, we have your team here in the background, but we focus on the results. And so that's why you see like results, results, case studies, process, testimonials, the team. And it's, it's way more than just one person. I think that was the main goal with this funnel from the client was, how can we build out something that is bigger than me? Which a lot of category kings, if you work with seven and eight figure entrepreneurs, at one stage they want obviously to have a specific launch funnel, a course funnel, a product funnel, but then they want the foundation as well, which is what we build here. So let's just take a look at the live funnel, how it looks, the overall feel of it. There we go. And then you can see if I zoom out, that's kind of how it looks. If I show you the difference in this funnel versus this one, I just moved here when I had the video playing, I went into case studies and then here I had about the opportunity. So for a course launch company, you want to talk about the e-learning industry. Whereas in this one, because we didn't have a video here, I thought why not put that one first before we go in here. And so that was the difference in those two. So let's just, if I open sketch, you can see how this looked before I optimized all of the design pieces. Because when I got the assets, the images and everything, I had links to testimonials. You can see what it looks like without the branded thumbnails. And it's not ugly, but it's not consistent. It's not, you know, congruent in, in the branding. So if you compare that to here, for an example, if you can see that this one has a, a cleaner layout to it. So like the names, the title, I've added custom like play button, logo, even the image is fading into the background. I don't know if you can see that, but I've just added a layer on top of the image, which you can just you do by clicking fill and you fill it with a, a color and then a gradient, and then you smooth into the background. I talk about more of that 
in full-time funnel designer, which is my course for funnel agencies. But yeah, uh, then the final product was, um, I'm not gonna make this a long video, so I'll just show you the final product. This is what it looked like, and as a funnel designer, I always like to turn it into a post to showcase my work, add it to the portfolio. And then when I make a post on my Facebook, you know, people see it, I highlight the client, basically like a thank you, it was nice working together. And also sometimes people reach out, they want a funnel because they see what you can do. So it's a nice way to finish a product and then also turn it into a new project. Homepage funnel by Gustan, I've just added this here. For those of you who don't know what the tool is that I'm using, it's called Go Full Page. It will grab the entire screenshot. You just download the image here, PNG, and there you go. One more thing that I forgot to mention, because sometimes you send over the client, uh, the funnel to a client and uh, they have suggestions for edits. So if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see that I've used an image of the founder. I've used an image here, but even in this place, he was like, I don't want the brand to be about me. I want it to be about the community, the movement, the results. Which is totally fine. I get that a lot with people who, uh, you know, they're at the stage where they want to build a community that's, you know, bigger than them. It doesn't matter how much time you spent on a, a graphic. Uh, if they want you to change it, obviously you'll just change it and you'll update it and that's totally fine. So we, uh, instead we put the talent scout here and the text is more about the results as a company. Yeah, you can see here, I've also updated these compared to the YouTube thumbnails here. So I just think that looks better if you look at the after and the before. So yeah, I grabbed that screenshot of the entire page. You can see that in the seventh step, which is all about setting up the funnel in their account. You add it to their ClickFunnels account or whatever page builder you're using. Then you add it to the main. You can see this one has their custom logo as, as the fav icon. And then here is ClickFunnels because it's in my account before I move it over to uh, the client's account. So I made the post here about an hour ago and you can see it's the exact post that I was talking about. And I said last week was a funnel marathon. This was one of the funnels that I built. Probably one of the top two projects last week. So much fun. Also helps that the person behind this business has amazing results for clients, well-established brand and an overall great human being. The theme for this homepage design was bigger than the person, which is why it has a lot of minimalistic, almost corporate feel to it. Category Kings usually want a homepage for the community that shows the mission behind the marketing. Now on to the next one. That is the simple process of how I get a client, my design process behind it. Not too technical in this video, I just wanted to show you the overall big picture. And if you want more videos when it comes to specific designs, copy, getting clients, building a funnel agency, check out Full Time Funnel Designer, or just ask any questions you have in the comments below and I will cover those as well. Uh, with that said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video because uh, for every like, I make another free video here uh, on YouTube. So with that said, I'll see you in the next one.